Hey everybody, Ace Tyler here, and welcome back to Let's Play Rayman 2 The Great Escape. In the last episode, we rescued Lee from the Fairy Glade, and in this episode, we are going to enter the Marshes of Awakening. It's a pretty short level that we're going to be going through, uh, mainly because uh, there's uh, some kind of a certain uh, challenge to go through, which is, for one thing, kind of a pain in the ass, especially when having to go after those uh, those lumps. Uh, first, what we want to do, though, uh, speaking of which, there should be some lumps over, uh, over on this side there. God damn it! Did, did, that, did you see that piranha that just uh, clipped through the uh, or clipped through the wood there? Yeah, because I, I literally just saw him for sure. Anyway, so let's head over to the oh god, oh zombie chickens! Oh no, zombie chickens! It's the, the zombie chicken apocalypse! Uh, what's the sign here it says? Uh, warning: This is unknown territory. Tourism may be hazardous. Ah, fuck you! I'm gonna go over there anyway. You don't tell me what to do. Oh, you cannot enter here. Only those who know the name of this place can pass. So shoot. Come back when you know the name. Oh, fine then. Yeah, well, I guess I'm just, you know, I don't even, even want anything to do with your, your bullshit there, whatever. Where that place is, I don't even know the name. Yeah, why, 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 why? Can you just tell us what the name of it was? We can just uh, enter there and just so uh, we need to know the name. That's bullshit. Uh, it's actually uh, supposed to be a uh, later level, of course, uh, if you might have already guessed. Uh, but that's going to be, uh, you know, once, or just, uh, you know, much later on uh, for uh, some kind of a um, certain thing we have to do. And I kind of fucked this one up here because I am dumb. I was not supposed to do that. I thought I would just uh, make it over to that lily pad. But I fell right into the swamp. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's just uh, this uh, swamp right there. Uh, eh, I'm not going to bother making that reference either. Alright, so uh, there's only, uh, actually... Did I count how many fire cages were? I think there were five. Uh, but there's our first uh, power cage over there. Uh, once we uh, get there, and there's a little, uh, green lump that will be our uh, checkpoint. And it's going to uh, smash that cage to pieces, and here we go. How can I ever thank you? Uh, who the hell are you? I ah, forget it, Sam. Sam, that's what it is. Ah, I forgot how good it feels to stretch out. Sensational. Tell me, do you know where to find the four masks of Pelocus? Well, do you? Sorry, Rayman, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, gee, thanks. But I did see Globox get, get captured by two pirates. They took him somewhere out beyond the marshes. If you like, I can help you get over to the other side. You can grab onto my scarf by shooting at it. Then press A to jump and Z to speed up. Come on, let's go! Alright, so he's gonna give us a little ride. And this one, let me just say, even if it's supposed to be the second level, well, not counting the Woods of Light, because Woods of Light I consider the uh, tutorial level. Uh, I would consider Fairy Glade to be officially the first level, and then uh, this world to be the, or this stage to be the second. Uh, so now we can, uh, so now we have, we're able to uh, ride, uh, ride with Sam here. Um, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, be warned that there's going to be a lot of jump cuts and a lot of editing. And the reason being is because uh, as you go along, there are, of course, going to be the, the lums that you're going to want to collect. Well, considering that I was trying to get this all in one go, and I'm going to be doing a lot of jump cutting because I made a shit ton of attempts. Oh, yeah, look at that. Now we have uh, 10 fire cages here. So, yeah, once you uh, smash uh, 10 each of those, then you get a, uh, then your health increases for, uh, for capacity. Uh, so yeah, this one is a major pain in the ass. This is actually one of those asshole uh, kind of uh, mechanics that you do with uh, with having to collect the lumps. Because especially if I'm trying to do this all in one go and uh, make sure to get the lumps. Because if you want to do 100% completion, then God help you. Because uh, those things can be easy to miss. Now what I didn't realize is that you can actually circle around so that, that way there you can be able to uh, get the lumps. But um, considering how linear this is, and that, w and you know, unfortunately, you won't be able to go back to where you left off. Uh, you can actually very easily miss those lumps, and then you have to go back to the, the beginning of the. Uh, well, it's have to restart the stage from the beginning just to pick up the lumps that you uh, that you missed. But I've had to take so many attempts because I because I didn't want to do any needless uh, backtracking because I want to make sure to uh, do it all in one go. So. Um, so yeah, I had to make so many attempts, and uh, well, just because of those uh, lumps I keep on missing. You saw that switch right there that I had to. You had to press that switch so that way there you can. Um, that way there those uh, lumps will uh, will appear for you. But yeah, because of that, I because of the fact that I, would, that I keep on missing those lumps, then I had to just uh, keep getting hit by either those obstacles or the uh, or those enemies, and then just uh, losing my health in, in the process, and then maybe getting a game over. But yeah, because uh, I wanted to do all one go, I had to make so many attempts. 
just so that over there I would uh, get those lumps because I, I didn't want to miss them all. And that was a shit ton of editing to do. So that this right here, you know, especially for the fact that it's supposed to be the second level, is definitely one of the more pain in the ass stages you had to uh, you had to get through if you want to get those. And there we go. Now we have all the lumps. And if you uh, see uh, this uh, saying uh, Yahoo or Rayman saying that, that means you've collected all the lumps. So there we go. Rayman, so long. Come and see me again if you can. Oh, he's crying. That's a, that's a sad or sad thing. We barely even knew you anyway. I promise I will. I will miss you, my friend. And that's why I say when I uh, leave my friends, uh, we're about to uh, move yet, or we're about to uh, move, uh, move out. Yeah, I mean, there's no time to lose. Oh yeah, I didn't even mention this or mention this all. So if you want, what well, you know, sir, that the um, that these uh, shooters are blue, and that I'm actually homing uh, perfectly. Uh, that's actually from that uh, upgrade that Lee gave us in the last episode. So um. So like after you uh like you know because beforehand those were white and um and they they can only do straight shots. Well with the uh with the upgrade that Lee gave us uh those uh, those have become blue and so they can actually home in on the enemies and also the pirate cages. So that one that was actually a major step up, which I will say I actually like. All right, so since we have all the uh, cages and the uh, lums, then we have bonus stage. This pretty little fairy has gifts for Rayman. And we have to help Baby Glowbox get to get her before the pirate does. So this is basically a, uh, a race. It's actually the exact same one as um, as all the other bonus stages. So make him run repeatedly, press the A and B button or B ones one after the other. All right, so yeah, it's kind of like button mashing. Uh, not quite like having to mash a button constantly, like a uh, fucking Canary Mary. Um, so yeah, what you do, you just uh, press the A and B buttons one after or just uh, one after the other, just back and forth. And you want to do it repeatedly as well, or just uh, rapidly. And, um, you see that little meter, uh, at, down at the bottom, um, you want to make sure it gets to the top, because that's how fast that baby Glowbox glow can go. And you want to get there before that pirate does. You're basically racing against the pirate. Yeah, see, there we go. Go karting with Bowser. But, yeah, if you, uh, yeah, if you collect, uh, all the lums and, um, and all the, uh, pirate cages in each of the stage, then you get the, you get to read this, uh, bonus, uh, stage here. It's not really, uh, much, uh, going for it. Although, uh, once you, uh, get to the stage, uh, basically what happens is that, uh, you, uh, you, you get, uh, you receive full health. Like, if you take damage, then you actually get fully healed. So it's not much else going for it, but, I mean, it's better than nothing, I would suppose. Uh, the PS1 version, uh, you don't really get it. You don't really get it. You, you get jack shit, even after you get everything in, uh, that one stage. Which is actually kind of lame, if you ask me, but... Anyway, so that's out of the way, and then next up is the Bayou. And yeah, that was kind of a short stage, but god damn was that a pain in the ass having to do so many attempts to uh, get get all the lumps in one go. But with that out of the way, then uh, the bayou is going to be our next time, and that's where we'll end things off here. So next time on Let's Play Rayman 2, we're going to be uh, going over to the bayou, and um, and uh, just, um, yeah, not much else to say. I guess I might as well end it off. So until next time, see you guys later.